Alright guys, today's video is going to be how to dispose of my unused flares, which expire already. Uh, if you look at it, it's 2014. I do have new ones here, which is okay. This is some old shells that I had here in my waterproof container. I didn't know what to do with them, how to dispose of them properly. I did not want to throw this in the garbage because look what could happen if you throw this flares on the garbage. As you saw there, you can create a fire. This is very explosive. And if you throw them in the garbage, the garbage truck will pick it up as the garbage truck is compacting the garbage. If one of these right here gets triggered, it's gonna create a fire. So definitely never throw these unused flares on the garbage. It's very dangerous. Uh, you can create a fire and you can hurt somebody or kill somebody with it. And like I said, I got new ones here that have been here on the uh, waterproof container. So I always have new ones. You have to check the expiration date. If they expire, uh, you could get a ticket for having expired flares on your boat. And this is the flare gun that comes with it. Always make sure the chamber, there's nothing on the chamber. Never have this inside the chamber because if you have it here like this, um, you can bump it accidentally. And if you hit this, you're gonna trigger this inside your suitcase and you're gonna create a fire on your boat also. So always have it empty and never have this trigger back. Always trigger it down and have it empty. If you wanna have it like this, you can, more safer, but I always have mine empty. So what I'm gonna to do today is, I'm gonna make a safe way how to dispose these unused flares. Uh, that way I don't throw them in the garbage uh, fully loaded. Since I'm in a residential area, I cannot be firing this in my yard. There's houses around and you can create a fire by shooting these uh, balls of flames. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how safely in a residential area, I'm gonna dispose of these flares. All right, so what I did here was I got a empty bucket and this bucket I took off the lid and once I just removed the cap, I can put the chamber here and just fire it right here. And before I shoot it right through here, there's a couple of things that I wanna do. I wanna open holes on the bottom of the bucket here, like in the mid side area here. So that way the air of the chamber has a way to escape uh, and not be trapped in here. Because if I shoot it like this, what's gonna happen is all this impact is gonna come out the same way that it went in. So I really don't wanna do this. This is really dangerous to do this. So it's gonna be very important for me to make these holes. So now that I made these holes, when I place the lid up here and I fire right into the chamber here, the air is going to come out through those holes there of the impact of the shell away from me. So the air is going to go that way. So I'm not going to have any contact with the air. And in order not to burn the bucket, I'm going to spray some water on it. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna seal the lid really good. Okay, the lid is sealed. All right, and for safety measure, I'm wearing a helmet, safety shield, safety goggles, gloves, ear protector, and I have a fire extinguisher standing by. And All right, it worked perfect.
Okay, I think now it's safe to open the lid. Oh wow, I cracked the GoPro. Oh, one of the shells hit the GoPro right in the middle. All right, the GoPro's messed up. Let me shut it off. All right, one of the shells hit the GoPro right in the middle and cracked the GoPro shell. All right, let's see if I can salvage this GoPro. Now, I did not put the camera right in the middle of the shooting. I put the camera on the side, but it looks like the shells spinning around inside the can pushed it and the next round came in and hit it right in the middle. Now, I put the camera on right, so hopefully it will turn on later. All right, so the bucket worked perfect nothing was burned in here because of the water so it's very important that i place some water in here nothing happened to the lid the only mess up was the camera i shouldn't put the camera in there but all right i hope you guys found this video helpful how to get rid of your expired shells for your flare gun uh, very important not to throw it in the garbage dispose of them properly uh, i went online to see who disposes these shells but I didn't find nobody that would take the shells. So, um, like and like I said, never throw them in the garbage because they can ignite the fire truck and it's really dangerous. So make sure you never throw this in the garbage, unused. And if you found this video helpful, how to get rid of your unused flare shells and also how to destroy a perfect GoPro Hero 4 that they don't sell no more, which that was one of my favorite cameras. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, navigate safe. All right, let's see what happened to the camera after it's been sitting here for a couple hours. Let's see what happened to it. Foxy, hang on. All right, I'm gonna take out the SIM card. Turn it on, see what happens. Ah, oh, look at this. Screen in the back is shattered. Yes, yeah, it's, it's busted. It's going crazy. See how the screen's going? It's going crazy. Yep, this camera's done.